Hey guys. So right now we're headed to a baby appointment. I'm headed to go see my OB. I'm not sure exactly like what's going to happen during this appointment. I don't know if like I'm being checked or if I'm getting an ultrasound or if we're gonna talk about like labor. I really have no idea. I just saw my OB. When was that? Was that like Monday? Yeah, it was on Monday. I just was there on Monday. And then if you guys saw my last baby update, I also had an appointment on Monday with my specialist. My specialist measured Everly all over and she was measuring at around 28 weeks. I'm pretty much 38 weeks as I'm filming this. So my specialist recommended that I be induced, but then after that, my OB kind of didn't seem like he wanted to induce me. So I don't know what's happening so we'll see how are you feeling about it i don't know i think like from what the specialist was saying like i i want more time with her but at the same time he said it's going to put more stress on her body so i'd rather like not put her in more pain than she needs to you know yeah and i've actually gotten that question a lot too a lot of people were like well i thought you wanted to go natural and i did but i've always said I will do anything like as long as it's in Everly's best interest so if it's best she comes out now and if it's doing more harm than good by keeping her in then by all means I'm for like being induced but another exciting thing is yesterday what did we do babe we went and finally signed up everything for the house so <laughs> So, we're officially homeowners yep, now. We're officially homeowners and it's so exciting. We can't officially move in just yet because we're waiting on Everly's arrival because it would make no sense for me to move in the new house which is like two and a half hours away from my doctor's. So we're waiting on this little baby girl but I'm excited, excited. Literally just bought a house yesterday and then we may meet Everly this week. Like it's so much going on. And then another thing too is yes, Benny is staying with us for now. Do you want to kind of explain how that like happened? So uh, Monday whenever we found out that they wanted to induce Brittany, I told my leadership out there and and they uh, were really understanding. They really um, supportive. And then they let us know that they're here for us in case they need anything. Or, I mean, in case we need anything. Um, and then they just want us to, you know, go through this time together. And they gave me the time off to come back out here and spend with Brittany and the girls. And in case, you know, the baby does come this week. Yeah. But, you know, I'm keeping them updated and letting them know everything that's going on. So that way um, they know, like, what's happening and where we're at. But they said to, you know, take the time that we need, so it's going to be a hard and rough time. Um, yeah. But as long as we got each other, I think, I think we'll be all right. Yeah. Everly's coming tomorrow. <laughs> Having a baby tomorrow. So I am being induced tomorrow, which is 15, August 16th. 16th, Friday. And it's the weirdest feeling ever because with Layla and Aurora, I went into labor on my own. So it's really weird to like have a set day when you're gonna meet your baby. Yeah, I know. It's at 4 in the morning though. <laughs> yeah, it's at 4 a.m. Like, 
that's when she's getting induced. What? I mean, there's no telling like how, how far. Long I'll be in yeah, labor. how long she'll be in labor and and what time the baby's gonna come exactly? Because I mean, with Layla and Aurora, she was in labor for, for 24, like 24 hours. Twenty-four hours, yeah. It's long labors. So. But I mean, she only pushed for like 10, 15 minutes on both of them. Push for 10 exactly for both. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know how it would feel. I'm like nervous and excited. and It's going to be a long like, day tomorrow. And, yeah. It'll be a real long day. When do I go to sleep? Like six? <laughs> I don't know. But I mean, knowing me, I'd probably go to sleep at midnight anyways. Goodness. But yeah, so... Everly is coming tomorrow, so I'm gonna get this video up for you guys today. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, because I will try to post like real life updates on there, like real time updates on there. So make sure you follow us on Instagram. And I have a, like I've said previously, I have a pre-recorded video that will go up once I'm in labor. So once I'm like in the hospital and I'm like in the gown already and I'm all settled in, I'll post that video live so that way you guys know like when I'm in labor. Yeah, Everly's coming tomorrow, Friday, August 16th. I'm excited and nervous and scared all at the same time. So am I. Feeling a lot of emotions right now. Like, well, like what do I do today? Do I like call everybody to like we go out to eat like and we were supposed to celebrate today because we just got bought a house we just bought a house yesterday and then now Everly's coming tomorrow what is week. happening it's been a crazy week it's been a crazy year yeah it has I didn't even know what to say anymore I guess just Everly is coming tomorrow and just keep us in your prayers and thank you for all the support you by you guys have been giving us. You know, we really appreciate all of you guys. We really do. And on that note, I guess we'll see you guys. I don't Tomorrow. even know. Tomorrow, maybe, I don't know.